Hey guys, someone in the comment section of my Vigilante Bambushka video requested that I make a tutorial on how to put things in the back of a Bambushka. So today that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to do. You can see me driving in the back right there. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this. It's a lot of fun. Me and my friends have had plenty of fun over the years with this. And now you're going to be able to as well, if you didn't know before. Literally all you got to do is you got to not put on certain upgrades, okay? If you have a fully upgraded Bambushka, you got to take a bunch of stuff off. If you just got a Bambushka, you got to put only certain stuff on. Okay, I'll show you right here everything that I have on it that you're allowed to have for this to work. But basically, it's armor, engine, handling, and respray. Literally no other options. You can't put bombs, guns, you can't put Jado, not even a livery. Nothing. Literally only those four that I mentioned. Here I put a livery on, you can see the invisible wall. Uh, yeah, it's pretty stupid, I don't really know why Rockstar added this. I guess they just wanted to just ruin our fun. <laughs> I guess. I don't remember when they added it, but it's been in the game for a while. Literally all you do to open the door is open your interaction menu, scroll down to vehicles, then scroll down to vehicle doors, and you scroll to cargo ramp, and then you can open it. And you, do it you press it again to close the ramp fly like this you can usually fly with it open too it's pretty cool it works with the Titan also but you just got to keep in mind that the Titan is a lot faster it's also a lot weaker it's very flimsy so you got to be careful or everything's gonna explode this can be pretty useful it's useful for basically any mission where you have to transport a vehicle across the map. You can just throw it on the back and it'll speed up the process a little bit. Like this mission here with the heist setup. You can use it for the Deluxo prep in the uh, Doomsday Heist Act 1. You can use it for the bike sell mission for MC businesses, you know, like if it's the sting, the cop sting, and they all go to the same place. You can also do all kinds of crazy shit with it. Stunts like this. With the Bambushka, you can fit all kinds of stuff in the back. You can fit a good four cars, even more if you stack them on top of each other. But four will fit comfortably. You can fit monster trucks. You can fit the bulldozer or, or like the scoop or whatever that thing's called. All kinds of different stuff. You can see here, me and my friends managed to fit a bus in the back. That shit was insane. We've never been able to do this since. Uh, it's literally jammed in there. Here's what that looks like with the camera outside of the bus. It's pretty glitchy. You can see the bus is flying and the bambushka just like spawns on it and falls into the ocean. I don't know, the game was not meant to deal with stuff like this. Even with all this BS you gotta go through to put stuff in the back, just be glad that you can. Because back in the day, before the bambushka was out, we used to have to do stuff like this. I mean, look at this, this is absolutely ridiculous. One last thing, while filming this video, me and my friend were able to get a Deluxo into the back of the Bambushka with everything on it, Jado, Liberty, everything. I don't know how this is even possible. You can see me driving in right there. Literally, I thought for a second that they removed the invisible wall. I thought that they did and that this entire video was pointless because you could just drive it in. But then, like we tested it again later and it didn't work. You'll see here in a few seconds, Look at that shit. It doesn't work. I don't understand what this was, but I just had to include it here in case anyone knows anything and to just at least a little bit put the word out there that it's somehow possible, although I have no idea how.